えー、とカルさん、<笑>こんばんは。カルさん、めちゃくちゃ頑張ったじゃないですか、この間の、えー、とエボジャパンで何大、えーと、9位でしたっけすごいね、本当にカルさん。本当に頑張りましたね。今日もいろいろ期待してるんで、えーと、頑張ってください。よろしくお願いします。ラグナさん、こんばんは。よろしくお願いします。I am seeing cheering streak. Yay, perfect. I'm always seeing everything perfectly. It should be perfect as well today. Sorry, Kayan, but goldfish having bad memories. I mean, no way. I don't believe you. I, I don't believe you. You're going to have to show me a Wikipedia page for me to believe you. But anyways, if it's not the case, it's fine. ギョンさん、えー、とそうですね、フォローしていただきありがとうございます。で、この間の、えー、と対戦会で、えー、と一緒に試合していただきありがとうございます。とても強いテスタメントでびっくりしました。ありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と、デイジー DTMB さん、フォローしていただきありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と、大会見せてもらいます。6回のさん、そうですね、まあ、今から見せます。<笑>よろしくお願いします。こんばんは、ギョンさん。ありがとうございます。ヨイチさん、えー、オフライン対戦できなかったですよ。そうですね、珍しく。びっくりしました。<笑> My name is acting up.No problem, Gary Bueno.No problem. ガチャガチャ。That guy got instantly shot. Of course. ありがとうございます。<笑>頑張ります。頑張ってください。えっ、ー、と、そうですね。じゃあ、えー、あいにく、えー、あれですよね。えっ、ー、と、ブエノさんがのインターネットがちょっと不安定してるなようで、ちょっと資格、えー、にさせていただきますね。てか、ブエノさんどこあ、ブエノさんいた。はい。じゃあ、そうしよう。はい。ウィン・ルーズでコントロールし。ペアディスコアカー。はい。ガチャー。うん。うん。OK、here we go。えーと、これでいいかな。いけたのかな。いや、sorry guys, I'm just gonna comment it. Give me a couple of seconds. We have some bracket issues. Minor ones at that, so it's not that big of a deal. And、uh, thanks for the heads up,、uh, Bueno. No Bueno. Your internet was no Bueno, right? <laughs> Anyway, there we go! Uh, yes,、yeah, so first match will be Jiju versus Sayonji. And Sayonji, yes, plays Mei. Now I, now I remember, now that I see him on the, now that I see, see them on the, on the screen. So, anyways, very strong Mei player, but currently、uh, being led by Jiju. I do believe it's、uh, zero, yeah, zero, zero, zero everywhere, I think. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Jiju with the 6P、uh, hitting. Hitting Sanji out of the air. Yeah, Sucks wanted to play. It's fine, Bueno. Let's play tomorrow if you、uh, go to Tatakai Tuesday. And ooh, the big dive right there with the counter hit. And little Faust is here to pin Sanji on the floor. Gets hit by the command grab. And here we go with the afro. Did you going for the. Wow, with the freaking. Oh, fuzzy jump into the overdrive. And this should be a kill. First match goes to Jiju, one for South Korea right now. And look at all the debuffs that that poor Sayonji was afflicted by.、Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And here we go. First match was、uh, to Jiju. Unfortunately, we did have a connection error, but it is perfectly fine. It's just the first match, so, you know, shit happens. But, anyways, on to the second match. Let's see if Sayonji can put one on the board as well, too. Uh, tie things up, and things are looking friggin' good for them. Look at that. Look at the pressure, and. Sayonji getting the wall break, just one hit away, one opening ahead, <laughs> one opening in order to get the kill and gets the kill with the,、uh, with the Totsugeki. Very nicely done by Sayonji, gets the first match, very, the first round. Very convincingly. Ooh, big 6P right there, Jiju protecting then skies, man. And again with the 6P, <laughs> this has been working so good for them. You go with the Iruka san and nice use of the 3K right there from Jiju. Picking Sayonji out of the air, gets hit by the forage though, and again with the 2S counter hit. Nice a bar right there from Jiju, gonna get the OTG into the lens to push Sayonji out of the way. Jiju trying to start his game, and here we go, little bounces in the house. <laughs> little bounces in the house. It kind of rhymes, I like it. Anyway, here we go with the lens. The spear, I'm sorry, you call it the lens in French. Oh! And the reset by Sayonji going for a super cheeky fall. He charged us. That being said, Jiju, man, with the overhead, goes straight for the command grab. Things are looking pretty bleak for Sayonji, not going to lie. Ah,、uh, Jiju trying to get that,、uh, that, how do you call it, fuzzy jump, but unfortunately, Sayonji used the reverse shield in order to not have to deal with it. Here we go with the dive. Oh no, it was a badly called out and the close S for the kill. Jiju, 
not out of this yet. Puts one round on the board. Still currently in the lead with one match, by the way. So right now, ooh, Sionji with the 6H. The 6P, I'm sorry. The 6H, what the hell is 6H? Anyway, ooh, almost got to pick up a little bit too far in here. Saved by the freaking Dolphin, almost got 6P. But little fast is here to keep Sionji on the ground. Gigi going for the cross up, man, impossible to see. He tried to do something pretty fancy right there using his Roman Cancel board, but I, I, I'm really sorry. Do not know what he tried to do, and look at the damage! Ah, uh, Guilty Gear! I think it's not gonna hit, though. Yeah, I think he did the wrong way. It's not, yeah. Unfortunate, he should have went with Mr. Dolphin. With Mr. Orca, actually. Oh, but the big 6 HS and Sionji manages to clutch it out right at the end. Few new fuses tonight. Yeah, we have a shit ton of them, by the way. I was really, really surprised. We have, like, I'm gonna tell you right now. We do have, like, uh, yeah, some people I've never seen before. So, first, Jiju, I don't think I've had the pleasure to see him before, the Faust player currently. Sanji, we did see him uh, previously. We have another person called Kokuron. Then we have uh, Gion Zio, who is a Testament player. Uh, I, I know it because I had the pleasure of fighting him during an offline uh, session. Uh, there's another Korean individual called Hem He Hem Me, but I really don't know who he is. Then we have Haniwa, I don't know either. Uh, then Uro, I don't know either. Koss, I don't know either. Uh, is Me Barrel, I think we did see him previously. We have Ippei Mizuhara, I have no idea. And then that's about it. But yeah, we have about like 10 new faces tonight. Really looking forward to what they will be bringing to the table. And uh, yeah, for now, as we can see during this first match, man, look at this. Like, both players going out uh, completely ham, trying to really get the kill. Jiju really abusing this command grab, but definitely working for it, for, for him in the long run. Tries to go for the very, very hard to block uh, fuzzy jumps, uh, fuzzy, fuzzy pressure. And here we go with the Iruka-san. Jiju trying to 6P, I think, the, um, the vertical Iruka, but... Playing, doing it a little bit too late and ended up uh, basically getting counter hit. And here we go with the command grab yet again. Sounds not ready for the chicken jump. And again, man. Wow, wonderful 6 speed DJ this time around. Punishes it. Gets the third match. Puts another one on the board. 2 to 1. Sayonji will definitely is definitely feeling the heat. He will have to adapt quickly or he will be sent to the loser's bracket. We shall see what how this pans out. What music is it? Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, okay, that, that, this I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Anyways, and here we go with, oh lord, so oh, big, uh, 5H right there from, ah, uh, from Sayonji. Tries to get out of the corner, gonna get, ooh, almost got killed by the bomb, very nice 6P, man, Jiju. Jiju and the 6Ps, man, this dude has been on point with the, um, the entire, oh, nice stuff from Jiju, he was afraid of the banana, reason why he didn't, uh, commit to his combo, wow. The freaking, oh, the confirms were freaking awesome from Sionji. Very nicely done. Gonna get the wall break. Good stuff from Sionji. Okay, here we go. The jump a little bit too high right there for Jiju to get the the, the the jump grab. The air grab. Uh, and here we go. Oh, Mr. Mr. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, Arisugawa-san. I forgot what, how you call it in English. The walrus, I guess. Mr. Walrus. Anyways, here we go with the vertical uh, Totsugeki for the kill. Sayonji currently up one round. Wow, that that just that just block was pretty good. And Jiju going for the command grab reset. Gonna get an Okizeme. Goes for the cross up. Goes for another cross up. But nice blocks from Sayonji. Still gets six speed, man. Jiju has Jiju has been making work. He really has been making good use of his his six speed. It's definitely been uh, messing with uh, Sayonji's game plan. Here we go, little fouls. Uh, he almost kept Sanji on the floor. Big, big, big 5H counter hit. This did a lot of damage. It's not over till it's over, but the drop. You hate to see it. And man, Sanji all over the place. Gonna get the wall break. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Ooh! Ah, uh, Jiju, not really knowing what he's supposed to do right now. Gets the freaking air dash. Just one more hit. Oh! Oh, and the 2S for the kill, and Sionji puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, two matches apiece. Who is going to take the first round of today's uh, Brojo Cup? We shall see. Axu! <laughs> okay, one second, real quick. This should be fun. 
And GG. Ooh, almost got hit by the far by the uh, what's it called the uh, the charge dust. But good stuff from uh from GG gets a full combo. Look at the damage. Oh, and even gets the freaking counter hit on the miss. Take attempt. No entire right there on the vertical. Uh, Mr. Dolphin, big 6 speedo from Jiju, goes for the command grab. Good lord. Oh, and goes for the reset command grab. This should do with the RC. Now the drop! Not like this, but still the 6p for the kill. Jiju has been milking that 6p for all of its milk, man. It's crazy. And it's definitely been working for him. Very nice use of the standing K right there. Okay, Gigi looking pretty good. Almost got the punish on the the, the block burst though. Gets the air to air. Gonna get the wall break. No! He'd rather reset the pressure. Gets the yeah the. I'm gonna get the uh, the the what's it called guard break. Ooh 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 ooh! Damn it! Almost got the juggle though. That was crazy. Good stuff the from Gigi. Ooh! And Soundy tried to go for a reset. And this time around, Juju nails it. Three to two and since Sayonji. <laughs> but yeah, Karu definitely nailed it. Ninth. That was absolutely crazy. Crazy performance from Karu, who's not from South Korea, by the way. I need to uh, change the flag. Give me a couple of seconds. Here we go. But yeah, good stuff from Karu. Let's see how it spins out. Uh, his opponent is none other than Law. Axel player. Very strong one at that. Uh, Law, who uh, before used to participate to the uh, Brojo Cup. Yeah, we haven't seen him in quite a while, but he used to be a uh, very, very uh, consistent uh, Brojo Cup participant. And uh, yeah, uh, overall very, very... Yep, yep, 49th out of 800 plus participants. Crazy, right? I did, I had the same placement as Mugi. <laughs> as Mugi, as... Uh, who else? As Roy as well. So yeah, I had a pretty good placement, yeah. I'm pretty... I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> And everything with Eno only. Only played Eno. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy. The good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, let's see how Cal is going to uh, fare for now. He's definitely running a uh, train right now on Law.Go. Right? Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the Len Sengeki. Law trying to keep uh, Karu out. Ooh, Karu tried to be a little bit sneaky right there. Send the clone out. Ooh, and this is going to be a... Explosion! Oh, but Law drops it! But fortunately for him, he was able to seal the deal. Regardless, very nicely done by Law. Good, so this is done. Good stuff. Here we go with... That's pretty pot. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, man, great placing. Not to mention lots of strong places in the early brackets too. Yeah, I know, right? No, seriously, I was really, really super... Uh, I was really, really happy with my placement. I'm really not gonna lie. I had a good bracket too. Not gonna, not gonna lie. They probably seated me better than the, than your normal like player. For some reason, I completely ignore. <laughs> I don't know. I had to pull some strings in. <laughs> I'm just kidding though. But yeah, no. I was really happy with my placement. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I yeah, yeah. I just played overall pretty solid. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tap myself on the back on this one. But yeah, that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I got to play a lot of, uh, of players as well because we had like an offline, uh, what's called exhibition as well, where lots of other players played. And yeah, overall, I had a, a great time. Like, I had an awesome golden week, which is the holiday season in Japan, during which the Evo Japan took place. And I had a crazy time. I was drunk every single day of the week. <laughs> I was drunk like every single day of the week for the past week. I was, it was crazy, man. And yeah, finally, uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday, I was finally sober. Finally back to have a good normal life, not drinking alcohol. But yeah, I had so much fun, man. The week of the Evo Japan was crazy fun. I had so much fun. I can't wait, I can't wait for the next major as well. That being said, here we go with Law actually waking up a bit right there, taking the lead one round. Uh, yep, one round. Okay, goes for the tornado, gets the hit in. Should be able to get the wall break. And he's gonna get it with the actual bomber. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice read right there of the white Roman cancel. White, well, well, the white Roman cancel. What the hell is that? Anyways, but Karu, man, taking advantage of Nagoriyuki's speed with the Fukio. Uh, confuses his opponent, gets the uh, tap dust in with the Roman cancel, and gets the kill with it. Here we go. We are in the corner. What are you gonna do, Law? It's a guessing game. Yep, you have to eat it, and Karu is gonna pop. Yep, 
Gonna pop right now, of course. <laughs> Faru always pops eventually. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh! Ah, right, here we go with the clone. That was fun. Oh, you're dead. Oh no, we dropped it. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Ooh, no 6P right there from Kado. This is unfortunate. Very nice read of Kado and gets the kill. Yo, Kado up to the zero. Yo, looking like fire today. Not gonna lie. Yeah, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Is Lol going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Wow, counter hit. Oh, wow. The exchange of counter hit and burst right away. None of them wants to. I respect this man's gambling spell. Oh, you're definitely going to like uh, Karu then. Karu probably always bursts. Uh, blood explodes at least once per set. So you're definitely going to like him. <laughs> it's a hobby for him to explode. It's like a personal challenge, if I might say. Oh, I'm going to go to the end of this one. I'm going to go to the end of this one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you want to go to the end of this one, And here we go with the juggle and law, man. Getting the, but still getting the round, but not getting the kill. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Let's see how this pins out. And uh, kind of getting the juggle, getting clo close. Eh, it's getting hit by the 2H, though. And Law finally taking this time to try to keep, uh, to keep Karu out, but man, it's no easy feat. Finally gets a 2S counter hit. Tried to go for the grab, but man, Karu reading it correctly. Oh no, reading the freaking gold burst. Not the gold burst, the yellow Roman cancel. You hate to see it. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What the hell am I doing? Uh, what the hell am I doing? Where's the camera? Here we go. Here we go. And yeah, man, Karu. On set point. Oh, no, getting the axle bomber in. Definitely not enough to kill whatsoever, as you can see, because the health bar is heavily. Uh, two. Oh, no! Oh, that was the worst possible counter hit that Lo could eat currently. It's looking pretty bad for La. Oh, he does get a counter hit, though. This is looking pretty good, though. Okay, if he manages to keep uh, Karu out, he should be able to take it. Careful with the clone. Oh, man, and the white Roman Castro. You had to see it. Look, one more hit is all that is required for Kalu to take it. He's got to go and does it. Goes for the gamble and gets the kill, sending a lot out of the turn. Usuyaba, Usuyaba, as you know, a character non-loyalist. He's definitely not loyal to any character that he plays. He started playing Bridget, then moved on to Johnny, then moved on to uh, a little bit of Asuka, then moved on to ABBA currently so yeah definitely uh changes characters a lot but that's that's all that's really cool it's very good for character knowledge to play several characters so uh the, i cannot blame the uh the person and that being said he's a very strong ABBA player so let's see how this spins out especially against a character with as low a health as chip oh he got the freaking oh the juggle no that was a sick combo look at this good lord that was so beautiful And here we go with the positive bonus, and Usuyaba taking the first round extremely convincingly with a beautiful juggle in the corner. Let's see how this pans out, boy. He's definitely not out of this yet. Gets, uh, gets hit uh, by the jabs right there. Ooh, catching that back dash, and here we go with Usuyaba going for the overhead. Should be able to get the wall break with the super kaboom. It's jealousy bar for me, sir. See how this went. Oh, he got the freaking bait on the goal first. That was sick. Good stuff from Usayaba. Takes the first match very convincingly. This boy definitely had some problems, some issues re uh, adapting right here. So, but it's only the first match. It's uh, definitely not a fatality, not a. Um, it's not permanent. I'm sure this boy will be able to adapt. Here we go to Sukiyaki. No entire. Ooh, Lord. Okay, and here we go with... Oh, Tsuboy going for the overhead. Gets the combo in. Gonna have to deal with... Jealous Abba, though. Good lord, look at that, Usayama. Oh, no, wow. Went for the 2S. That was strange. Still get the jungle. Goes for the... Oh, lord. Gonna get the wall break. <laughs> Very nicely done. And here we go, it's a boy getting the... Oh, goes for the over, the, the cross-up. Ah, no blocks right there from Musuyaba, unfortunately. And this should... It's not gonna kill, unless he gets hit by the reset. Oh, good lord. 
Let's see, about in the corner. Trying to get out. That's the boy. Has to make something happen. Gets the kill with. Ooh, almost gets the kill. Decides to believe. Oh, Lord. Okay, tries to kill with the Shuriken. Unfortunately, Saba is being very, very mobile. Ah, negative penalty. This is bad. Very, very bad for Tsuboy. Gets hit by the Donzai, man. The Donzai for the kill. Good stuff from Usiyama, yo. Good Lord. That was really, really well done. Not going to lie. Again, on with the second round. The second match. Actually, oh, bad. That was a bad DP from Tsuboy. Is that a... Oh, Guilty Gear. Is that an old guilty gear? No, it's not an old guilty gear though. Donzai. I think he could have killed if you. Oh lord, in the air to her. In favor of Usuyaba. Usuyaba taking the second match as well. Tsuboikun looking very, very disoriented right now, not going to lie. Donzai! <laughs> I love this attack, but it's so cool. Here we go. Ah, Tsuboi with your bar. It doesn't confirm though. Oh, gets a big 6 HS red dot counter hit. Uh, careful with the Donzai, you don't want to get hit by it for 60% of your health. Here we go, Usuyaba, oh, getting the hit in, and here we go, it's pressure time. <laughs> Good stuff from Usuyaba, gonna get the key in. Ikanaide. <laughs> Again, here we go, big positive bonus, and gets the hit with the follow-up. Very nicely done, man, Usuyaba on set point already. We barely started the match, man. But that's what happens usually if you pin a low health character against one that hits like a truck and his mother. So here we go with the wall break into the hard knockdown. Good lord. <coughs> yeah, finally, it's about getting something in. Gonna get the auto toy. Come on! For the hard knockdown, what's gonna be the mix? The schmix. Who goes for the blue Roman cancel? Even cancels just in case. Uh, Usuyaba committed to a hero burst. Speaking of hero burst, Usuyaba just needs one hit in. <laughs> Very nice DP right there from Tsuboi. Definitely felt that he did not want to deal with any sort of pressure whatsoever. Here we go with the Donzai. The Bonzai, I'm sorry. Not the Donzai. Oh, big counter hit from Tsuboi. Gets another counter hit. He gonna go for the Alpha Braid. Into the wall break. Into the hard knockdown. For good measures. Here we go. The safe jump. Ah, uh, this is a bad. Second downside would blown up. Uh, yeah, definitely it would. It would have for sure. But, you know, there's only so many times you can do it in a row. Anyways, here we go. The jump in. That was such a confusing cross. A very nice use of the wildest hole right there to prevent Usuyaba from uh, bursting. That was a very nice decision making from Tsuboi. Noticing that uh, Usuyaba was on the verge of getting their burst. Uh, used the remaining of his uh, burst gauge in order to use a wild assault and prevented Usuyaba from bursting. Very nice enough. <laughs> okay, let's see how this pans out. Very nice juggle right there from Tsuboi forcing Usuyaba to pop the burst. No entire... Well, tried to entire right there, but a little bit too late on the timing. Here we go with the Afro Braid. Tsuboi with the freaking confirms. Very nicely done. <laughs> I keep coughing, I'm sorry guys, I've, I've been smoking a lot these past days and my throat just doesn't take it very very well right now. But anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from Tsuboi, guys, the oh the overhead! Should be able to get the kill with the Alpha Braid! Into the... Oh, try, try, come on for the kill, kaboom! Good stuff from Tsuboi, looking alive man, looking may, way more alive than before, good stuff. Let's see if he can keep it up. Eventually, uh... Oh no, that was an unfortunately time to reflect you. Stop so waking, please. I need your help. I need myself healthy as well. I'm sorry, Mineral. I'll try to do better. But yeah, don't worry, don't worry. It's, a, it's an exception. I don't smoke. I usually don't smoke during the week. But I did it during the Golden Week because I had so many times where we had a... Uh, how do you call it? We had so many times where we had drinking parties and, and uh, events and whatnot. And there, there was literally one every single day of the week, so... When I drink, I tend to smoke, so, you know, one sin invites the other. Very nice bait of the burst. And that's how I, I'm, I'm like, right, right here right now, I'm coughing a bit. But I haven't smoked for the past two days. I intend to not smoke for the rest of the week as well. 
So don't worry, it should be fine, Mineral. But thank you for the concern, much appreciated. That being said, here we go, it's a boy in the confirm, bringing it back. Two to two, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. It's not entirely one-sided. I thought this set was going to be over so quickly, but Tsuboy, with with his uh, strength for adapting currently, is on the verge of <laughs> making a full comeback. Very nice grab right there from Tsuboy. There's a corner pressure. Oh! Did get the Suki, but not the Yaki, unfortunately for them. Usiaba in the house, y'all. Gets the two. Oh, Lord. And it's damage time. No! Got the corner free. The side switch. And they definitely didn't want it. Ooh, that being said, Tsuboy. Ooh, forcing the burst from Usiaba. Nice 2D counter. It gets the juggle. Should be able to get the wall break. Goes for the, uh, what's it called? The wild assault. Let's see. Okay, safe jump. Probably tried to, like, bait something. Oh, he had the confirm, though. Oh, he had the hit. And here we go, the DP. Oh, Lord, and the Hail Mary. The Hail Mary, which played in the favor of Usiaba. Usiaba up one round. So, boy, absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay live. Here we go, close-up pressure. Nice, nice confirm from Usiaba. And it's Donzai time, bitch. <laughs> here we go. With oh, the ground left. Donzai. Oh, not enough to kill, is it? Is it gonna be enough to kill? This super hits super far, so it should be enough. No, too far, you hate to see it. Good lord. Oh, and the triple command dash into the grab for the kill. Usi. On to the next battle, Hakure Lemu versus Whip. Steven, work in progress, Steven, even Steven. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, after this one, we still have one more round before reaching the winner semi finale. <laughs> Okay, let's see how this spins out. Uh, Hakure Lemu, extremely strong Kai player. He's been making a very good placement, actually, in the Brojo Cup. Uh, defeating, like, very, very strong players, so definitely a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I haven't seen him play in any other tournament than mine, so I'm, I'm actually quite honored that Hakure Lemu uh, does so. That being said, his opponent is extremely strong. Oh! The Whip Steven had the uh, bait on the burst, but unfortunately, Bagdash, what, a B, a Wii 2. With the Wii too, uh, too much, I guess. A bit too much. And he's like, we go. Lame. Oh, almost go. Oh, try to go for a reset. Oh, gets the hit with the stun dipper. And should be able to seal the deal. If he doesn't drop it, and he does. It. <laughs> Good stuff from Hagure Lame. Gets the kill. Okay, what is Whip Steven going to do in order to bring it back? Definitely. Oh, big. Big fire in your face. Pop there, boom! <laughs> that was a big pop here right there. Good stuff from Steven. Gets a hell of a lot of damage right there. Goes for the 2S counter hit. Gonna get a full combo. Is that a... Ooh! Oh, guilty gear! Oh, guilty gear! Look at the damage! Good lord! Oh, the grab though from Hagure Lame, man. Not out of this yet. I feel like Whip Steven is going to... Uh, is going to explode. Not explode. Ooh! Almost got the punish. Big DP. Not enough to kill. Oh, good stuff from Hakure Lame. Oh, goes for the close S, forcing Whip Steven to pop the burst. And here we go, Steven. And the revolver for the kill. Yo, Shadow J, how you doing, bro? Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Big far S counter hit. That did a ton of damage. Forcing Raymu to pop the burst to be out of harm's way. Big far H counter. This is going to do a ton of damage. And again with the Bandit Bringer counter hit. Straight into the Tyrant. Race! Good lord. Hakule Lemu. Yeah, this guy, man. Very strong player, man. Not gonna lie. Here we go with the Schmix. Oh, lord. And even Steven just going for the DP. Not enough to kill. No. Okay, one more hit is all that's required. And even Steven evens it out. Actually takes the lead. He doesn't even things out. Good stuff from Steven. How you doing, Flynn, my boy? Getting on to the next battle. Very nice with punish right there from Steven. Didn't go for the revolver, by the way. Big gun flame straight into the uh, Fudra Dark. Hakure Lemu getting the jump in right there, forcing Steven to pop the burst. And Hakure Lemu being extremely mobile in the corner, getting his DP 
grabbed by even steven even steven with the freaking mix it oh that was an unfortunate execution error which is going to cause the game steven definitely looking pretty good right now i'm doing pretty good shadow jade just chilling exactly that's what i'm doing <laughs> and there we go the big fafnir gets the juggle steven on a freaking Oh, the freaking... I don't even know how you characterize this shit, but man, Steven looking pretty good today. See how this spins out. Ooh, gets the freaking DP wake up right there from Agure Lemu. Agure Lemu needs to burst intelligently. Does so, but damn, he doesn't have any life anymore. Agure Lemu with the grab. Goes for another grab. <laughs> oh, gets the juggle straight into the red, the lightning and brings it back, yo. That comeback was sick from Hakure Lemu. Very nicely done. Definitely does not want to be sent in the loser's bracket. Where Motisan at? Uh, Motisan is pretty busy to participate to the court, to the Burger Cup, unfortunately. You will rarely see him. He, he participates very rarely, but uh, today is not that day, unfortunately. But we have Steven, which which is probably one of the best uh, the best solo player in Japan currently with Mochi. Big wake up DP from Steven. Look at this. Gets the hard knockdown and the Fafnir. That was very clean indeed. A clean comeback indeed. Big far S counter hit. And even Steven should be able to seal things out and does it with the Fafnir. Takes the third match and the lead 2-0. Definitely does not want to give a single. Yeah, Steven is very strong. He is indeed. But yeah, Mochi is probably a, a wee bit stronger than he is, I suppose. Well, definitely uh, considering like the placement from uh, Evo Japan, yes, uh, Mochi is considered to be stronger than Steven, but Steven also has his days, to be honest. Anyways, we're going to go to the back dash into the 4S counter hit. Akure Lemu gonna get the wall break. Mochi saw God. Oh, definitely. He's a freaking god. Mochi, like... I think, yeah, Mochi has the strongest soul in the in Japan currently, but Steven and the Roy are definitely close, uh, very close as well. Anyways, here we go with, oh lord, nice bar from Hakure Lemu, gonna get the kill. Hakure Lemu working on that uh, that comeback, actually. Definitely uh, down 2-0 though, so he needs to be careful. Here we go to Forest. Nice stuff from Whip Steven. Goes for the corner pressure, gets the hit with the Bandit Bringer. Here we go with the Schmix. The double overhead into the opening and the wild assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. <coughs> Sorry guys. And here we go to Forest. And this time around with Steven going for the low. And gets the Roman cancel extension for the kill with the perfect Mochi. Not Mochi. Steven with the set uh set point right now. Ah uh, gets the forest. Gets the grab. I could really move. We can up with the DP by the way. Wow, gets the whip punish on the 2D, yo. Steven on point today. What the freak did he eat? Okay, that was a badly freaking spaced and stun dipper, unfortunately, for Hakure Lemu. Gonna have to eat a, a wild assault in order uh, to get out of pressure. And this should do. Whip Steven with the clean 3 to nil. Sending. Oh, well, basically, the match until I am back. Let me just update the flag as well. Because Hagiara is not Chinese, he is from Japan. Oh, well, here we go. And you guys, I'll be right back. Why, thank you, uh, dear analyst. Much appreciated, man. Uh, yeah, I tried to... Uh, uh, not that I worked on my commentary or anything, to be really quite honest with you. But I just, like, I've hosted so many... Uh, so many Guilty Gear Strive tournament. This is my 106th one, by the way. Uh, so I've hosted so many, like, Guilty Gear Strive tournament that... Uh, I'm trying to, like... Do serious commentary all the while, keep it, keeping it pretty chill. And I'm perfectly okay if I, like, say a, a mistake, if I do mistakes in my commentary or whatnot. So everybody is really welcome to try to, uh, try to, uh, to, uh, how do you say, to, to correct me. I'm always open to it. Everybody can chat in my, in my, well, obviously, <laughs> in the stream. They can ask me questions. They can, like, also give their own inputs on the, the current match. I'm really open to everything. 
everybody can like also uh, choose a song to be played in the background. So yeah, I'm. I, I like my stream, <laughs> and that's probably one of the reasons why I stream to begin with because I like doing it. So yeah, uh, but uh, thank you very much for the kind words. I try to uh, try to um, provide some. Uh, well, the thing I try to provide the most is uh, quality matchups, which is not relevant for for uh, from me. It's relevant from the players who participate to the tourney. So really, uh, the people that we should be grateful to are the participants, because there are some hell of a good uh, players all the time in the Brojo Cup, which I'm eternally grateful for. And that's basically the main. Uh, that that's the main. Um, you know the the main uh, correct point and the main uh, uh, good point of the Brojo Cup, if I might say. So yeah, definitely, uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks, thanks. Okay, sorry, uh, I was just drinking a bit. And uh, so, as you can see, Caffeine took the first match. So, good trivia between both of these players. <clears throat> Usually in tournament, Hagera will always tend to have like better uh, placements than Caffeine. But in the mirror, Caffeine actually has the edge over the number of matches that he has taken over Hagiara. So this is a very very interesting trivia because Hagiara tends to have better placement overall in the tourney but you can be sure that if Caffeine and Hagiara the, if they, they play against each other chances are that Caffeine will be taking it. As you can see currently Caffeine is extremely proficient at the Jacko matchup. He probably also gets a very good read on the tendencies of Hagiara and Caffeine get, knowing exactly how Jacko uh, works makes it so that Hagiara can less cap on Caffeine and therefore uh, uh, has more difficulties playing because he knows that Caffeine is is very knowledgeable in the matchup and won't fall for one of the uh, you know simpler mixes that uh, Hagela uh, uses. <clears throat> so yeah, it's it's just very very uh, funny to 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 see. Anyways, that being said, <clears throat> Caffeine currently in the um, he's in the lead. That being said, here we go with... Oh, Caffeine managed to get the side switch. Very much needed, by the way. <laughs> here we go with... Oh, Lord, the wake up overdrive. Illusion driver. Good stuff from Hagiara getting out of harm's way. That being said, he is still down one match or one round. <clears throat> what is going to be the wake up? Oh, tried to get... Oh, Lord, almost got the... Oh, the playoff kick. In the corner, and again with the... No! Oh, the burst bait, and Hagela taking the second round. Good stuff from Hagela. Is he going to break the curse today? We shall see. <coughs> okay, and here we go with the minion war. Lord, Hagela. Hagela just running straight towards Caffeine. Catching the bag dash right there. Should be able to get the wall break. No, actually keeps the corner positioning though. Which is potentially worse than getting wall broken. And here we go with the guaranteed hard knockdown using the wild assault. Gatches the bag that this is gonna do. Oh, this is gonna be death actually. And Hagala putting one on the board with Illusion Driver. Slash and died. Hagala up. One to one. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Who is going to take it? We shall see. And second, well, actually the third match. Let's see who is going to take the lead. Caffeine tries to draw first blood. Tries to get the opening, but Hagiara holding strong. Not committing to. Ooh, Lord, that was close. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, you could have. Uh, you could see Caffeine trying to run underneath Hagiara, trying to catch him out of the air and and air pun and uh, anti airing him. But yeah, Hagiara was so nimble, it was impossible for Caffeine to do so. Okay, let's see how this is going to pan out. Ayala using ooh the Roman cancel and should be able to get the kill right there. Good stuff from Ayala, yo. Ayala looking pretty clean today and taking the lead right now. Okay, one more round for Ayala and he should be able to get um, a clear cut lead. Ayala making good use of the minions in order to prevent caffeine from being too mobile on his wake up. <laughs> Counter hit right there. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And here we go with the Illusion Driver, probably. Nope. I got using the uh, Wild Assault. Get the guaranteed hard knockdown. Catches the back dash again straight into the Illusion Driver. And Caffeine looking a little bit lost right now. I'm not going to lie. Good stuff from Hagiara up 2-1. Taking the like, extremely strong uh, player. Let me add his 
uh, his uh, sponsorship, his sponsor team name as well. Oh, yeah, yeah here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Anyways, here we go with TYA with the corner pressure. Trying to encourage Amato to press the buttons right there. Oh, okay, Amato with the correct bar right there. Catches TY. Trying to. Ooh, look! Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice. Oh, almost got the punish, though. Oh, a nice stuff. Ooh! Good vortex from TY. Even gets the side switch, though, for huge damage. Into the Tyrant Rave. Rave! Let's see how this spins out. Oh, and I'm about to waking up with the overdrive and getting the kill too. <laughs> Good stuff from Amato. Steals the first round, not gonna lie. Very nicely done. So let's see how the second round works. Good stuff from Amato right there. Doing the mix, mix, mix to prevent T Y from trying to uh, punish his dive attempt. So let's see. TY almost getting the 6 HS right there, but a little bit too far. Gets it the second time though. And here we go with the corner positioning. <coughs> Amato with the Abare getting the teleport. Uh, quick Roman cancel right there. Uh, Tried to go for a command grab, but man, TY knowing what's up. Oh no, and the bomb working against Amato too. You hate to see it. Big 2S counter and this should. Oh! Nice reset right there from TY manages to get the second round. So, one round apiece, who is going to take the first match? We shall see. Nice opening right there from TY. Goes for the continuation. Bandit Revolver gets the grab. Here we go with the close-up pressure. TY with the 2K2D. Oh, almost got the hit though. Oh, gets hit by the Meteor though. And here we go with Amato with the Bananas. Oh, gets the freaking dodge juggle with the Banana. That was sick. Six step from Amato. Here we go with the. Oh, wow. What? That was probably reset. Still manages to get the hit on the wig. And look at the damage. Well, actually, it's not giving you too much of a damage, but really close to the kill. <laughs> okay, Amato looking pretty good right now, but TY does have two bars of tension. Ooh. Oh, Lord, the wild throw. One more wild throw is all that is required. And here we go with the grab, and Amato steals it. Is TY going to stick with. So we shall see. First, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. First match goes to Amato. Very nicely done. Okie dokie, Breads and Koki. TY sticking to his guns. Not going to change. See how this spins out. Nice. Confirm from Amato. Gets the hit with the weight. Oh, big vortex, but fortunately, ill timed. The little fast is out to play. And you can see TY panic DPing right there to get. Away from Little Faust as quickly as possible. Unfortunately for Amato, no more Little Faust for him. Still gets uh, hit by the D by the TP, unfortunately. Here we go with the Fafnir. Ah, goes with the run up for S right there. Catches the back dash. Ah, okay, here we go with the Gold Burst. Amato getting it. Gets the hit with the dive. Oh, fails to get the juggle. Should be able to get the kill, though. Oh, and gets a kill with the standing P. Good stuff from Amato, yo. Amato with the clear freaking, uh, the clear freaking, how do you say? Um, the clear freaking lead, actually. Okay, one second, guys. Here we go with Amato forcing, forcing T.Y. to pop the burst. Here we go with the bandit. Ooh, big counter hit right there from TY. Gonna get the juggle, the, the wall bounce. Should be able to get a pretty nice wall break with this. Yes, he does. Here we go, the positive bonus. Okay, back to the neutral. Almost got the 4H. Fortunately, gets hit by the weight. And again, TY with the DP, man. Not afraid. That being said, Amato does have two bars of tension a lot. Wow, the, how can you see this shit? Good stuff from Amato. Gets the corner positioning. Ah, gets hit by the jump in. Ooh! Ah, yeah, it's mixed time, but Amato did have... Ooh! 
forces T.O. to bump the birds. Goes for the lance. Oh, good lord. I'm uh, very close. Oh, Amato with the jump in. Is he gonna get the kill? Not enough to kill. And gets the kill with the syringe. Yo, Amato up 2-0, to zero, yo. One more match. And Amato will be sending T.Y. to the loser. Is T.Y. gonna... T.Y. sticking to his guns does not want to use Giovanna for this particular matchup for some reason unknown to me. But yeah, man. Giovanna or Chip, that is. Anyways, here we go with Amato on the positive bonus. Gets the hit. Gets a full combo. Ah, uh, the, the meteorites are out. And here we go with the freaking wig on fire. Your wig is on fire. Oh, good lord. Man, Amato looking so good. Gotta get the conversion station straight into the overdrive. That conversion was sick. Yo, what did Amato eat today? He ate a freaking tiger. Freaking legend. Not enough to kill the... Oh, are you serious? That is crazy talk right there. Why? How? 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 How did it not kill? And just the standing P for the kill. Amato on match point. Set point. Is he going to be able to send T.Y. in the losers? That would be sick. Good read from Amato. That was sick, unfortunately, for him. Wow, T.Y. with the picks up, though. Not gonna lie. Here we go with the take. Nice stuff from Amato. Gets the counter hit into the fully charged... Uh, what's it called? The, the spear. Little Faust is out to play. Come here. Come here. I don't care. I don't care. Don't hit my, pop, my papa. Oh, here we go. The bandit revolver. Amato just content... Oh! Getting the dive. Getting the freaking follow-up. Amato! Amato sending T.Y. in the loser's bracket. The click. That being said, we ourselves are moving on to the next bracket. The next battle is going to be none other than Usuyaba versus Hagiara. And the next matchup is going to be Amato versus Whip Steven. So this match also I'm definitely looking forward to. Okay, anyways, that being said, <laughs> nice six period there from Hagiara with the corner carry, with the corner pressure. I get using the Wild Assault in order to get the guaranteed hard knockdown. Wow, wow, that's a very deep. Uh, straight into the Legion Driver for added damage. Driver! Good start from Hagela. Here we go, the close up pressure. Hagela getting the. Ooh, catching Usuyaba, trying to get out of the corner with a perfect. Nevertheless, so what is gonna be the next. The next, uh, the nice use of the parry right there from Usuyaba. Good look, nice for S. Catching the back dash of Hagiara. And uses again the parry to throw off the timing of Usuyaba. Nice use of the, what's it called, the, the guard point. And again, man, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you can see uh, Hagiara is just content to chip away at the um, at the jealousy bar of of Usuya, but that's the reason why he used uh, he used so much resources right there just to make it so that Usuyaba was going to use all of his jealousy bar and not be able to do anything and right now as you can see Usuyaba is in a very very bad position good stuff from Ayala takes it a clean 1-0 to zero. well th that is the first match that is well it's only the start Definitely no need to panic right now. Uh, Usuaba did have some pretty nice ideas. Unfortunately got outmaneuvered by Hagiara, who made good use of the... Yeah, of this, exactly. Of the uh, the guard point. And here we go with Usuaba again, losing all of his uh, meter, unfortunately. Okay, here we go with Hagiara. Getting the pressure ongoing. Ah, man. Also getting, also getting the whiff punishes. Usaba struggling to get out of the corner, and even if they do, they have zero jelly sea bar, so no means to. Nah, this is gonna be killed. Man, this matchup definitely looks pretty freaking hard for, uh, for Abba. Not going to lie. That being said, Usaba is not your run in the mill, Abba. If there is a way to bring this back it is definitely Usuyaba who is going to be able to find it ah good to S right there from Usuyaba loses the jealousy though and here we go with ah the corner oh good stuff from Usuyaba oh no no drops it don't drop it why did you drop it 
Ah, this is gonna be Elysian Driver for you, bro. Elysian Driver! Yes, sir, from Hagira. Not out of this yet. Not by any means. Here we go, the positive bonus. Hagira getting the juggle. Straight into another Illusion Driver. Not enough to kill. Okay. This guy but definitely needs uh, some kind of way to activate. To activate their jealousy bar. Or else it is going to be death. Nice. Ah, oh, nice jump in. Straight into the super. Very nice decision making. One more hit is all that is required. And goes for the cross up using the freaking Roman castle. That was genius. Uzi Ava, yo, with the cross up. That was sick. I'm not even. I'm just, not gonna lie, that was sick stuff from Museyaba. I've never seen this before. Anyways, that being said, here we go with. Oh lord! Nigudake! <laughs> and here we go with Ayala with the corner pressure. Fortunately for Museyaba, they have zero resources now. No burst, no tension bar, no jealousy bar. Things are looking pretty bleak for Museyaba. We'll see about fighting for their lives in the corner. Ah, what is gonna happen? And of course, there's only so many schmixes you can block. Hagela takes the second match as well. We'll see about definitely feeling the heat. What is gonna happen? We shall see. And on to the next battle. Very nice standing carry right there from. I gotta catching you, see about it uh, out, out of out of the air. Ah, nice stuff from Hagiara, man. Gonna pit, chip away again at the jealousy bar of Usuyaba. Here we go with the hard knockdown and the positive bonus, and this should be it. Driver! Wow, I gotta with the perfect yo, Usuyaba looking. Pretty confused. I have no idea how he's supposed to. Ah, here we go. Finally, something going on. It is time to open you up, man. It is time to open you up. And here we go with Luciaba making a full. Yeah. Trying to replenish his jealousy meter as much as possible so that he can stay in his cracked version as long as possible. Nice juggle. And a big 4S counter hit for the kill. Usiaba not out of this yet. And on to the next battle. <clears throat> okay, here we go to jump in. Ah, Usiaba, unfortunately for them, getting 6 speed right there. Okay. Back to the normal mode, and again, man, this is the type of pattern that has been killing Usiaba. Yeah. Going into the jealousy mode, unfortunately getting hit by an entire of Hagara, then spending the remaining, like, potential 20 seconds of his jealousy mode just blocking, and eventually depleting all of his, uh, all of his meter and losing the match. Yeah, this has been definitely a recurring theme or situation anyways this is this is the second semi-finals match how you doing Akito to you definitely looking forward to it let's see how Amato is going to handle this soul this time around hopefully for him everything is going to be smooth he's going to go smooth we can only wish that for him and on to the next battle <clears throat> and here we go with Amato I tried to get the command grab a little bit too early on it though and ends up getting grabbed himself. Okay, nice for a uh, nice closest uh, counter hit right there from Amato. Even got the juggle on the bomb. That was pretty freaking sick. Okay, and here we go with the forest. Ah man, this is wrong. Whip Steven is the one to instigate and to draw blood. Here we go the bandit bringer. Amato forced to pop the yellow room and cancel. Gets the forest counter hit and for a chest counter hit, not enough to kill. One more hit is all that is required, and here we go with the syringe for the kill. Good stuff from Amato. Amato looking very good uh, during today's tournament, not going to lie. 
Definitely rooting for him. Oh, Dan. Oh, oh, Lord, big counter hit right there. Whip Steven with the close-up pressure. Oh, big counter hit right there from Whip. Whip Steven gets the wild, wild throw. Not enough to kill. Ah, man, and Amato getting opened up. Gonna keep his burst for obvious reasons. Je vais très bien. Mon dieu, 42 mois, c'est un truc de ouf. C'est vraiment un truc de ouf. Tu fais vraiment plaisir, Akito. C'est much appreciated, gros cool. merci. Ok, and here we go with Amato in the corner. Definitely wanting to have this win right there. Okay, one Meteor for the hit. And uh, Steven waking up with the DP, man. Getting a throw of his own. Ah, big trade right there. Good stuff from Steven. Noticing that Amato is going to cancel his overdrive. <clears throat> Steven with a close-up pressure. Amato definitely struggling to get in. Once he does, though, it's going to be anyone's game. As you can see. Ah, Steven does have... Ah, that was a big starter right there. Amato varying his burst timing in order not to get hit by any obvious air grab and here we go with steven taking the first round very very the first match actually very very uh convincingly so let's see if amato has any plans nope sticking to his guns and rightfully so <laughs> that was a pretty nice jab Okay, guys, we'll be right back. Here with the positive bonus and Steven managing to get the first round of the second match. Let's see if Amato can adapt. We shall see. <clears throat> Big bandit bring right there. Yeah. Steven relentless with the pressure in the corner. Amato finally getting a ah knockdown, but man, with Steven again continuing his onslaught. Ah, misses his uh Roman cancels Schmix right there, but still ends up getting the kill. Steven up 2-0. to zero. What is Amato going to do? We shall see. So, what will Amato do? Will he run it back right away? Maybe go back to the lobby to try to kill the momentum? We shall see. Nope, straight back to the game. Let's see how this pans out. Big 4 HS right there from Amato getting the hit. Unfortunately for them... Steven managed to get the Little Faust. Not the, not the Little Faust, the, the Cavalry. <clears throat> Here we go with Mato trying to get the air to air. Steven in the corner gets the Shimmy. Be able to get a ton of damage right there. Look at the damage. Ah, Guilty Gear. Ah, Guilty Gear. <laughs> Good lord. This move makes. This route does so much damage. Good lord. <clears throat> and here we go with the command grab. Amato with the safe jump and goes for another command grab with the reset. Wow, th that was strange. And here we go, the mix, mix, mix. Nice stuff from Steven managed to catch Amato trying to back off. Here we go, the bandits. And Steven with the volcanic viper, the, the bandit bringer, the volcanic, uh, the volcan, are they? With the DP. Here it is, one second. Okay, and again with the close-up pressure from Steven. From even Steven. Steven looking pretty good. And look at the totally filled wrist gauge. Good lord. Amato sticking to his guns, not bursting. I don't know if it was a correct answer. 
That being said, here we go with Amato, man. And Steven getting the bait on the burst. Takes it a freaking clean. Okie dokie, Brits and Cookie. Hakure Lemu versus Koshide. This is the loser's bracket. We have four loser's bracket matches coming up. Uh, so let me check Amato. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay, 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 okay. And okay, we're good. Okay, so this first match is gonna be Hakure Lemu, extremely strong Kai player. From, straight from Hong Kong, but uh, China, uh, with the Chinese uh, nationality. So, extremely strong player against Kohide. Kohide, who uh, is irregular in the Rojo Cup, has won several uh, Rojo Cups previously. Uh, is kind of sort of struggling with current meta Giovanna, not to be, uh, well, to be perfectly honest. Kohide's uh, current results have been a little bit less impressive than uh, during the, the, the previous version. But uh, it, it's still a fact that Koide is a very strong player. Wouldn't surprise me if he does and if he manages to uh, win today's tournament. We shall see, we shall see. That being said, the advantage is definitely in favor of Hakure Lemu, as you can see score-wise. Hakure Lemu taking the, uh, the, the, the lead with one round. Very nice pacing from Hakure Lemu, by the way. Immediately with punishing Koide. Okay, here we go with the, the close-up pressure. Ah, Hakure Lemu getting the combo and look at the damage. Ah, Guilty Gear. Good stuff from Hakure Lemu. Tries to go for a blue Roman cancel. Instant overhead, unfortunately for him, he was a little bit off on his on his timing. And this should be it. Wow. And Kohide not having the time to burst right there because Hakure Lemu decided to use the overdrive and denying the burst. Uh, the burst. Um, capability of Kohide. That being said, this is just the first match. It doesn't mean anything. Anything can go either way. We shall see. That being said, here we go with Kohide. Oh, getting the hidden. Finally, goes for the low this time around. Gets the conversion, drops the combo though. You hate to see it big for HS counter hit though. And this should be the kill. Yeah, definitely is. Good stuff from Kohide. Not enough to kill. Probably gonna get an OS right there. And yeah, we did get an OS, but Kohide couldn't quite catch the back dash on first wave for them. They should have went for the overdrive OS. And here we go with the wake up overdrive of Kohide getting the kill with the Ventania. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this ends up. Okay, good stuff from Kohide. Forcing Lemu to pop the burst. Kohide looking pretty good right now. Goes for the low again. Gets the juggle this time around. Goes straight for the overdrive for the guaranteed hard knockdown with damage. Oh, here we go with the jump in and Hagure Lemu messing his uh, back dash. Uh, Blue Roman cancel, I believe. Kohide finally putting one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Big 2D counter hit from Kohide. Ah, uh, tried to jump over the fireball, but got, uh, unfortunately, got, unfortunately, uh, scrapped by it. Ooh, big Pudra Dark, uh, big Pudra Dark right there from Hagura, even gives a follow-up. Goes for the Sacred Edge, 40 guaranteed hard knockdown. Oh, catches the bag dash from Kohide, that was so beautiful. Straight into the Ride the Lightning. Good stuff from Hakure Lemu. It gets the lead, one round, one match apiece. This stuff from Koide goes for the save jump. Ah, uh, gets the hit in, but it was a trade, unfortunately, for him. There we go, the stun edge. Ooh, Koide catching them, uh, jumping frames. Should go for the, yeah, the Ventania for the guaranteed hard knockdown. That being said, Hakure Lemu is full of, uh, full of, yeah. How do you go? Full of uh, resources. Ah, uh, does get hit by Kohide right there. Who uses the Roman Castle to extend their pressure and get the kill with the wall break? Wow, round start. <laughs> for HS. Gets a closest counter hit. Forces Hakure to pop the burst. Okay, nice forest right there from Hakure. Noticing that Kohide loves to bag dash. Catching him in the process. Very nice food retard. He yet again gets the juggle. Into the Sacred Edge for the Hard Knockdown. But it's gonna be... Ah, uh, uh, man. 
Tries to go for the tap dust, man, but man. Go a little bit too far. Okay, this is a big for Koide. I think he's gonna get the Wahlberg. Yes, he is. So, save jump into S. No, he goes for Blue Roman Castle. No! And this is unfortunate. Ooh, it's not over till it's over. Koide still has one chance. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, big close S. Ah, uh, man, yeah. Ah, oh, no, and the stun dipper for the kill. How could I lay Muting in the lead? 2 to 1. Not over till it's over, though. Let's see how this fans out. Okay, one more chance. Well, actually, yeah. One more chance for Kohide. Not over till it's over. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Kohide dashing straight into the fireball, though. Definitely, definitely a little bit scary. Kohide forced to pop the burst. Ah, uh, gets a whiff punish too, that was sick. Good close up pressure, Koide gets the grab, goes for the safe jump. Gets hit by the DP though, you hit to see it. Very good, Hakure in the grab. Goes for the safe jump himself. Catches the back dash and gets the hit with the tap dust straight into the Roman cancel. Into combo, into wall break, into kill. Okay, let's see, this is set point. If Koide loses this one, he'll be eliminated from the tournament. Uh, Koide. With the oh no, the cannon drill. Here we go to close up pressure. Koide with the oh wow, that back dash though from Hakure Lemu. Here we go to grab from Hakure Lemu once again. Ah, no one's tired. And Koide just casually grabbing Hakure Lemu, getting the side switch. Ooh, okay, nice blocks right there. Kohide, man. Ah, but the spacing of Hakure has been pristine. And this is unfortunate from Hakure. Oh, big counter hit! Ah, Kohide should be able to seal the deal. Yep, he does. Okay. Kohide managed to save this a point here, but he still has another one to save if he wants to save the tournament. Okay, nice block right there from Kohide. Tries to get the hit in. Yes, the goal assist. Perfect startup. Ah man, the four HS though. Koide with the yellow, the gold Roman cancel. Ah, catches the back dash, goes for the grab. Safe jump. Wow, the Nasante man, that was so good. And here we go with the overdrive. Good start from Koide. Ah, goes for the safe jump. And try to go, okay. Oh! Gets the bait on the freaking yellow room and cancel. Good stuff from Gio. Well, Gio, good stuff from Kohide. Evens things out. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two matches apiece. Who is gonna take it? We shall see. Nice block right there. Too far to get anything substantial. Oh, does get the first hit in. Kohide definitely looking pretty good right now. Probably needed just a couple of rounds to, to warm up a bit. Ah, gets the hit with the 2k. Tries to go for a tap dust, yo! Nice aerial jumping P. That was sick from Kohide. Who gets the 4 HS counter hit? And look at the damage. Not enough to kill, though. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, Hakure Lemu still in the match. Oh, but gets baited! The bait on the DP from Kohide. That was pristine. Good stuff. Good stuff from Kohide. Here we go. The trade. Kohide gets the first hit and catches the back dash with the 2k. That was definitely an OS. Here we go. The side switch. Oh, he has another bait on the DP. Is that gonna kill? I goes for the reset. Oh, I guess the, again the punish on the yellow Roman cancel. Cool, he did definitely looking dominant, right? At, let's go. So him coming straight from South Korea versus Ty. Ty this time around resorting to using a chip. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, let me stand a bit. I feel like I want to stand. Okay, we're good to go. May versus Chip. Him versus... UI. Who's going to take it? We shall see. 
Nice start of the round by TY. Definitely bringing the heat right now. Getting some close up pressure. Gets the Suki straight into the Fujiyama. Getting, I don't know. Ototo come on! Let's call it just Ototo Gamma. Good start from TY. Oh man! Him, he, he. Uh, him, him, he, me. Uh, wait, I'm gonna call him him. Him waking up with the uh, Golden Roman cancel, unfortunately for him. Got clipped by TY and TY going with the very, very sophisticated chip. Uh, chip. Uh, combos gets the first round. Let's see if him can manage to adopt, uh, adapt, adapt. We shall see. No entire right there from him, but it's fine. And TY with the close up pressure. Gets a full combo right there. Wow. Nice stuff from TY Force. Ooh, and a big starter right there from him. It could have been it could have been 75% of the uh, life of Chip, but fortunately for TY, he did have his verse, so could get out of troubles, uh, uh, could get out of harm's way almost immediately. And here we go with the Dai Shogun kill right there from TY gets the first round, the first match actually. And on to the second match. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> A big counter hit right there. Okay, and here we go. The Iruka Sun from him. Really trying to hit TY out of the air. Nice wake up. Uh, standing P into the Totsugeki right there from him. <clears throat> yeah, TY having a little bit of a problem trying to isolate him and forcing them on the ground. Let's see how this pans out. Big jumping HS right there from him, from uh, TY. Goes for the cross up. Nice blocks from him, too. Goes for the safe jump. Him has been using the standing P of me very, very efficiently. I guess the freaking sweep forcing TY to pop the burst. <laughs> TY believing it is a... Uh, oh lord, that was unfortunate for TY. Good stuff from him, actually taking the first round of the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the Iruka san No anti -airs. Ooh, big forest. And it's all chip. Pressure right there. Ah. Nice grab from TY, the cojones on this man. Goes for the close. Oh, wow, good lord. Oh, Totoy, come on! Okay, and here we go with the positive bonus from TY. TY with the close up pressure. Ah, oh, lord, what are you gonna do? And goes for the Alpha Blade for the kill. Good stuff from TY. <coughs> <coughs> I get trying to get the kill as quickly as possible. Very nice freaking run into of these. Ooh, big Totsugeki right there from him. Uses this opportunity to get the side switch. But TY is out of the corner already. Ooh, big 6H counter hit. That was huge for TY. Gets another one, yo. Good lord. And here we go with the wall break. Wow, that was not what he wanted. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh! And here we go, back to the neutral! Good recognition station from him, he <laughs> he. Try to read... Oh, Lord! Him, he, making very good use of the... of the dolphins. And the air grab for the... nope, not the kill yet. Big 6 p are you serious? It was sick! And him, he taking it right at the end! With the chicken, the cat and mouse game right there. That was the chicken game, actually. Good stuff from him. He Very nice uh, reach from him. Knowing that TY had no other choices but to burst at that particular timing. Yo, him, yo, what the hell? Good stuff. Let's see, him is also a newcomer in the Rojo Cup. It's definitely a pleasure to see him play because, good lord. Oh, nice trade right there. In favor of him. Manages to keep the pressure going. That being said, TY currently with the close-up pressure. Goes for the save jump. Gets the grab. Not enough to kill. 
Wow, and this should be it. Yeah, this is gonna be the kill. Very nicely done. Very, very uh, quick round, if I might say. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a big. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to read the DPS right there. Almost got the juggle. Tries to catch the uh, lateral um, alpha blade of Ty. Gets the sweep. Oh lord, him, he, man. Ah, gets the freaking vertical. Oh no, and here comes a DP finally from Ti. Ty. Get Ty getting the hit in. Should be able to get the yeah. The auto toy combo. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff from Ty. So a long way home before getting that kill. Nice block from he he. From him he he. he. Oh lord, wow, and that was burst safe, are you serious? So over till so ah and this is gonna be the kill. Or not. Yeah, you can see TY not wanting to overextend. S smell Oh no! There you go to standing S for the kill. Good stuff from TY takes the second match as well. Up to the one. It's definitely not totally one-sided. Could go either ways, but. As of now, probably if I have to say, Ty definitely seems a little bit more collected and less eager to finish it. Like he takes his time to whiff punish, doesn't overextend for sure. Uh, whereas him, uh, the more the match goes on, the more him loses uh, health and the more desperate he seems to become all the time, which is not a uh, an attribute that is. Uh, affecting currently uh, Ty. So let's see how him manages all of this. We shall see. Nice blocks though. Ah, but unfortunately for him, he got hit. And on to set point. Alpha braid. Let's see how this spins out. I'm in pretty dire straits right there in the corner has no other choice than to uh, than to eat this pressure press to get out of the corner though gets hit by the forest counter hit straight into the freaking overdrive are you serious I'm in really dire straits right there has to hold it I'll get forced to pop the burst one hit is all that is necessary for TY2 Win it. And here we go with the standing P for the kill. TOI eliminates him. He out of the turn. Matchup Amato versus Koshide. A tale as old this time, if I might say. Even though they haven't been playing uh, against each other very often recently. But they did back in the days and usually was in Koshide's favor. Let's see if Amato uh, learned from his errors. Managed to, you know a little bit more proficient at the Giovanna matchup, we shall see. That being said, <laughs> currently it's entirely in favor of Kohide. Kohide with the corner pressure. Nice grab from Kohide, going straight for the Ventania for the kill. And gets it. With a perfect nevertheless. Nice start of uh, things for Kohide for sure. And here we go, the whiff punish from Kohide. Kohide looking very clean today, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, for Sigamato to pop the burst. Yes, the 6 on hit. Oh, very nice understanding right there from Kohide not to commit to hitting a button right there. He would have got hit it by the uh, explosion of the bomb. Gets the side switch. Is that enough? And here we go, with Kohide using all of his burst gauge in order to secure a hard knockdown. And goes for a tap dust for the kill. First match goes to Kohide in a very, very, com uh, <clears throat> in a very commanding fashion, if I might say. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Okay, Kohide trying to get them with punishes. Amato tr too far to get the conversion with the uh, wild assault. Again, here we go with Kohide and the optimized combo in the corner. Goes for the uh, well assault heavy, no hard knock uh, with the heavy knockdown. 
Hard knockdown. Forcing Umato to pop the yellow Roman cancel. And there we go with Kohide getting that sweet, sweet afro. Ah, Umato getting the juggle with the standing S. You hate to see it. <coughs> ah. Nice aerial word right there from Kohide. Gets the hidden. And here we go, the teleportation. Kohide getting hit. Okay, little Faust is out to play and you have to eat the pressure. Good lord, Amato, man. Getting the tab dust into the Roman cancel. All the while using Mini Faust to pin his opponent down. Genius gameplay. Good stuff. Yeah, Amato finally uh, forced prop the burst. Goes for the forest counter hit. Wow. Nice duty from Kohide right there. Gonna get a full juggle. Ah, uh, drops it though. Perhaps character specific? Character specific? Not quite sure. Nice blocks from Amato from the tab dust. Finally, Amato's time to play. And Amato with the decent damage right there. He only catches back, uh, the back dash with the uh, closest. Ah, uh, tries to be cheeky and get the grab. But Ma uh, Kohide reads it correctly to be able to get the kill. Or not, actually, no. The poration is pretty high. Yeah. Okay, what's gonna be. Ah, the decision making. And Kohide, with the overwhelming speed, manages to clutch the second round off. Very nice juggle from Amato, forcing Koide to pop the burst. Gets the spear, gets the golf club. Too far for the command grab, but manages to hit Koide out of his jumping animation. His IAD animation gets the kill with the scalpel. Second match goes to Amato, actually. Very nicely done. Thought Kohida was gonna show us a a sub character. That would that would have been pretty crazy. And here we go with Kohide in the corner. Ah, Lord. Mato trying to make his way out of it. Kohide getting the uh, far HS counter hit, forcing Mato to pop the burst. That being said, Amato does have little smile, uh, little mouth, <laughs> little fouls to uh, occupy his, his enemy. Wow, that was a strange cavalry. And again, I'm also going for the command grab, of course. Okay, here we go with the Ventania. One more opening is going to be enough for Kohide. Tab dust. Nope. Closest counter hit for the kill. Okay. Kohide looking pretty good right now, not going to lie. Let's see how this pans out. We go with the jump in. Good lord. Big freaking counter hit with using the uh, forest right there from Koide. Immediately forcing Amato to pop burst. Amato, however, right now looking pretty good in the corner. Gonna get the wall break using the overdrive, so guaranteed hard knockdown. Yeah, this, that's going to be blocked. At least Amato does not have to worry about the overdrive anymore. And he's looking pretty good. Should get the juggle right there with the RC extension station. And gets the kill. Okay, one round apiece. We have a perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match, one round. Who's going to take it? And have the uh, psychological edge in this warfare. Okay, nice wall break right there from Kohide. Wow, man. Even if you, yeah, you make the first two buttons, the first two hits with the standing 
Uh, S, the four S of Giovanna does have three hitting uh, kicks, so unfortunately, you need to be careful with for the third one as well. It is six Pable though. Well, all three of them are. And here we go with the close up pressure from Kohide. Yes, and I'll salt it. Gotta get the kill. Kohide getting the lead right now. To the one. To the one, to the one. To the loo. Amato in dire straits right now. Not gonna lie. What is he gonna do? What are you gonna do, Amato san? Here we go with the scalpel. Amato with the forest. Just harassing, harassing Kohide. It's another forest. Big 2D counter hit though from Kohide. Forcing Amato to pop the burst. Hammer is out. Amato does get the knockdown. Yes, the 2D counter hit. Big forest counter hit though. Uh, and the blue pressure. Giovanna is a grappler after all. <laughs> I'm just kidding though. But she did, she certainly feels like it. Uh, is that gonna kill? Yes, good lord. Amato, uh, Koide currently on match point. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, dear stuff from Kohide. Get the corner pressure. And oof, forces Amato to pop the burst. Went for the Nasante, but man, Amato not co committing to anything. Nice Nasante right there. One more hit. Wow, Amato with the command grab. Is he gonna get the. Is he gonna go for. Oh, good lord. Are we witnessing a comeback? We shall see. Nice pickup right there from Amato. Oh, careful with. Oh, gets hit by the overdrive, though. Good stuff from Kohide. Manages to. Let's see how this pans out. Luciaba versus Chiwa. Itima show. Let's see how this pans out. So Luciaba uh, had a pretty nice run up until now. <laughs> not to say that they're going to lose. It's definitely not uh, a fatality, if I might say. But it can happen. Especially since uh, Aba. Well, Luciaba was the one to. Eliminate none other than Tsuboy, who is also a fellow uh, chip player, a very one, uh, a very good one at that. And therefore, Luciaba might be pretty knowledgeable when it comes to the chip matchup. That that's what it's telling me. So we'll see how this pans out. For now, Luciaba is mm, currently has the life lead, but is completely out of jealousy. Oh, just got some back right now. So let's see, Donzai time. Oh wow, that was pretty crazy. With the very, very deep grab from T.Y. Oh, Lord! And the aerial roaming cancel right there from Usuabo is pretty sick. Catching T.Y. off guard and securing the kill. Okay, and here we go with Usuabo unfortunately getting, getting clubbered in the corner. And here we go with TY and the pressure, getting all of them confirmed straight into the overdrive. Oh, to take, come on! Getting their hard knock down. Goes for the tab dust. Goes for the uh, the burst bait. But fortunately for, well, Usuyaba. Uh, Usuyaba probably saw it coming and probably was too low of a health to uh, warrant uh, using the burst in order to potentially try to save it. That would have been a huge uphill battle. Nice air grab right there from T.Y. Here we went straight into the Ototoy combo. Good stuff from T.Y. Here's the positive bonus. I think it's 1-0 for T.Y. too. Yeah. Ah, good stuff, good lord. What was this combo? That was sick. Boom! And here we go with actually, this is 1 0 for T.Y. Uh, I'm not quite sure. No, I think it's 1 0 for T.Y. right now. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Anyways, here we go with the wow, descending P right there from T.Y. Catching Abba off in the air. 
Wow. TY man immediately bursting. This not one does not want to have to to deal with uh with Usiaba's insane pressure when they're in jealousy mode. Nice air to air right there from TY. Gonna get the air the uh, overdrive. He hasn't said a single time Ototoi Commando. I'm a little bit sad. Anyways, here we go with the grab from Usuyaba. And it's my turn to apply pressure. B. That was really nice. The fuzzy right there. It was sick. And here we go with TY. Gonna get the kill. Goes for the Roman cancel just in case Usuyaba wanted. Well, thought about like a ro uh, thought about bursting here. Here we go with the counter hit. TY with the freaking 6 HS seems to be quite quite the button in this current matchup. Probably catching the hops that Abba might do. Wow, that was so ambiguous. Good stuff from Musiaba. Gonna get the 2S. Gonna get hit by the DP wake up from TY. Wow. The pressure is real. Now we'll retail this over. Ah, but. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, T.Y. dropping the combo, which is not very characteristic. Oh, big 6H again. And T.Y. should be able to seal it out. So let's see if it was 2 or 1. I think it was 1. Right now it's 2, two to... Yeah, I was right. Okay, so T.Y. up 2 match to 0. Let's see if Usuyaba can manage to make the comeback. We shall see. T.Y. definitely on point in this matchup, I'm not going to lie. Nice UK TD right there from TY, gonna get the jump in. Wow. And here we go, it's Donzai time, but TY definitely not giving a single moment of respite to Suyaba. Very nice 6P right there. Good stuff from Suyaba. Goes for the Donzai. And gets another freaking fuzzy. This is so hard to block, by the way. Good stuff. Here we go with the 2k for the kill. We see about finally taking the round. Let's rock. Here we go with the positive bonus. 2 I looking pretty good. And T.Y. with the relentless pressure in the corner. Fortunately for him, Usiaba finally said, that's enough. Let me hit you some more. <sighs> air to air. Ah, oh, man, no. Too far to get to 2S. Again. Yo, Marisa, how are you doing? Oh, Lord. No time to grab right there. That was unfortunate. Look at that. T.Y. going very, very slow. Took his time, didn't want to overextend, and just like this, we are at match point. Doing well, been in and out today. How's things? It's going pretty good as well. I just, uh, this is the last day of the golden week. So basically the uh, extended holiday that uh, happens currently in, in Japan. So this is the last day. So last day, I'm doing the Brojo Cup, enjoying it. Enjoying it so far, we had a lot of very, very nice uh, nice fights. And Usuyaba actually saving this uh, this set point right there. Very nicely done. And apart from that, yeah, I played... Uh, I went to EVO Japan, met a lot of people, played against a lot of people, drank with a lot of people as well. Had an offline exhibition with uh, Sadyu and all of the pro players who came from abroad as well. It was really, really mad good. Uh, also hang out with a lot of friends. And uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. I'm really happy with my placement at Evo Japan as well. I made 49 out of 800 and what so like players. So I'm actually pretty happy. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was really, really happy. Really made me want to grind the game a little bit more. Because literally I went to Evo Japan with, uh, I hadn't touched the game for quite a while. I only grinded for like one month before 
really going there and it turned out pretty cool overall i did a lot of shit though like i dropped a ton of stuff and that kind of made me salty for wanting to get better and have better placement next time so yeah i'm gonna try to uh i'm gonna try to uh play more more often let's say but yeah other than that everything is going fine i hope that everything is going fine with you as well that being said here we go back to the match and usiaba currently ah uh, gonna lose this one for sure yeah Good stuff from TY, man. He had a lot of health left, though. So this is, again, match point. Let's see if Usuyaba can save it as well. Here we go to jump it. Ah, air to air in favor of TY this time around. He's got Usuyaba exactly where he wants. Wow, what the hell was that combo? That was sick. Couldn't quite, like, finish it, though. That would have been even sicker, but it is what it is. And here we go with... Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go with the combo. Wow, that was sick. Went for the freaking reset. And again, Usuyaba saving it. Putting another one on the board. Yeah, good here. Been getting uh, gardening stuff to grow more. Oh, here we go. Which vegetables are you currently growing? I hope you have, I hope you have some broccolis. And I freaking love, uh, what's the name? Something plants. Eggplant? Eggplant, I think it's called. Eggplant. The thing that's that's uh, violet. That, how do you say? Purple? The purple thing. Yeah, I think it's a, it's an eggplant. Yeah, bro. I love eggplants. It's so good. Anyways, we're going to go with the grab. And TY with the corner pressure. Ooh, this is... Yeah, bare bare done. Ah, uh, that being said, TY, man, definitely wanting to... Ah, uh, get the kill. Put Suseba back in the corner. Almost got the kill. Uh, and this is going to be... Yeah, overdrive. Not going to be enough to kill, though. Ultra try come on. Anatya! Oh no! Wow, that was so sick! Good stuff from Usaba. Very nice uh, recognition that he was not going to be hitting uh, TY. And TY now has... Yeah, that was so sick. TY now in Dire Straits. On the verge of... Oh lord! This is good looking not pretty good for you, yo! Is that going to kill? No, it's not. It's not. Not enough. Oh, the big 2S. This should be enough to kill. Is that enough to kill? Not enough, but it's basically the same. And just like this, yo, Usi Abba. Committed to having a good uh, Usi. Uh, to having a good Abba. A good Usi. Dust, thank you very much for the follow. Dust the sun. And uh, thank you for the follow. Don, don, di, ma, Don, Dan, Don, Dimadon, and welcome to the Brojo, Dan, Don, Dimadon, San, to follow state of the Kyaria to the mass. And here we go with the close up pressure. Web Steven looking pretty good right now. Definitely not even Steven. It's I'm going to trample on you and take this round as quickly as possible type of Steven. Iron Trave! So much for. So much for a uh, beautiful, cute little couple that is Jacko and uh, and Saul. Talk about domestic violence. That being said, there's only one thing that matters in the Burger Cup. It's winning the end. Winning the tournament. That's all that matters. That being said, here we go with Whip Steven. Getting the hit on Hagera. Goes for the bandit. Ooh, almost got the punish right there on the grab attempt. Gets it by the fake cross up. That being said, Whip Steven. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Ah, good stuff from Hagera. Gonna get the hit. And it's time to send some... To send some minions in orbit. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Okay, back again in the corner, but man... Steven cannot open up Hagera, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Nice six period there from Hagera. Gonna get the juggle straight into Elysian Driver. And gonna get the kill thanks to it. Driver! Good stuff from Hagera. Not out of this yet. Definitely does not want uh, Steven to take the lead right here. Here we go to close up pressure again. Big grab. Here we go to jump in. Nice blocks from Hagera. Gets it by the tap does though. Force to pop the burst. Here we go using the gun flame to get rid of the minions.
Here we go, the positive bonus. Ooh, I got a wood the wall break. They didn't use the illusion driver though, probably due to a, uh, to a uh, ah damn it. Ooh, yeah, Syrian force pop the burst. No anti air. Oh, and Steven still in it and gets hit by the TK, unfortunately for them. And Hagara takes the lead 1 to 0. Let's see if Steven can bring out some sort of countermeasure in order to reverse the tide of battle, we shall see. Here we go with the Fafnir. Steven wanting to keep the pressure going. Again with the grab. Ah, I tried to go for the wild throw. Nice pacing from Hagarado. Here we go, the gunflame yet again. Ah, good sub, good pickup from Hagarado. And here we go, the grab. Good lord. Ooh, still getting hit by the bandit bringer, even though I thought it was gonna be... It was gonna cross her up completely. Good stuff from, uh, from Steven. Takes the first round of the second match. Fortunately gets scooped by the sweep of Jacko right at the start of the second one. Oh, big DP bait right there from Hagera. Ooh, big vortex as well. Steven starting to uh, look a little bit desperate, not gonna lie. And look at the kick off. Kicks right there. Four in a row, that was sick. Or five, was it? And there you go with. I get out with the hard knockdown. And here we go with the vortex. Combo, look at the damage. This time around, Steven going for the low. Goes for the extension to force Hagera to pop the burst. But that being said, Hagera just needs one more hit and Hagera gets it. Gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Hagera. Okay. If Hagera takes this one, he's gonna have a huge, a huge lead. Definitely good for, for them if they do. Big Fafnir here. Here we go to close up pressure. Very nice grab from Hagala. Gets another one. And gets the tap dust and this should be a... No, 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 no. I capped. And here we go with Whips even in the Bandit Revolver. We look to get some decent damage. Not nearly enough to kill. Does use the remaining burst that he had in order to secure a hard knockdown. Yeah, Steven. Ah, finally forcing burst. Ah, this is looking pretty bad, and gets hit by the the standing the closest. I got uh, with the with the commanding lead two to zero. Okay, let's see how I get a manage this to seal it or not. Here we go to close up. Wow, what a tab dust. Why? It was silly. That, that was sick. Anyways, unfortunately for that, Steven is gonna get hit by the hard knockdown by the uh, the overdrive. Nice sweep right there from Hagara. Should get the juggle and should be able to go. And does. With a perfect nevertheless. Wow. Okay, and here we go with Steven trying to wake up a little bit right there. Momentum has definitely been in favor of Hagiara. You can definitely understand his frustration. That being said, he is in the corner, gets grabbed twice in a row. Gets baited. That was unfortunate. No more resources for Steven right now. 
Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. It's not over till it's over. Here we go with the fake cross up. Ah, nice 2k right there from Steven. Okay, not out of it yet. The fuck near pressure is for real. Nice box from Steven not getting hit low. <laughs> Unfortunate bandit revolver right there from Steven gets the bandit bringer. And gets the bait on the burst and this should be it. <laughs> okay, Steven finally putting one on the board. Two to one. Still has a long way ahead of him, but if anybody can do it, it's definitely him. I might have a hiccup. Good luck. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna need some water. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait. Whew. Well, I got rid of the hiccup. Okay, here we go with the closer pressure. Very nice backdash from Ayala. A very brave one at that. Gonna get pressure for themselves as well. Here we go with the bandit revolver. Ooh. Oh no, what? Steven, Steven, unfortunately, very uncharacteristically drops his combo. Okay, here we go with... With the close-up pressure. Wow! One of the rare instances where the, uh, the guard point did not work as intended. And the freaking forest for the kill with Steven, bringing it back actually, 2-2 two to, two to two right now. Is he gonna be able to get the? Uh, is he gonna be able to get his comeback? We shall see. The one who wins this one wins it all. Nice blocks right there from Agata. Should be able to get the kickoff. Uh, ah, drops it unfortunately right at the end, but gets the grab. And here we go with Agata and the Illusion Driver. Not enough to kill. Not enough. Oh, but is now. Good stuff from Agata. Very nice use of his uh, of his meter right now. Agata currently in the lead. Let's see if they can seal the deal. We shall see. Oh, almost got the punish on the Bandit Revolver, but this freaking move recovers so quickly that it's nearly impossible. And here we go, the spacing, beautifully well made by Aloy. Oh, good lord. Big bandit bringer, man. And even Steven, yo, evening it out. <laughs> we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Going down to the wire, last round of the last match. Who is going to take it? Who is going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see. For now, Steven looking pretty good right now. Getting grabbed, unfortunately, for them. Wow, a lot of a bar right there from Hagat, unfortunately. Not on point with his setup timing. Gonna get fully uh, juggled in the corner. Okay, nice to get to P. To, to D, I'm sorry. From Hagat. Trying to get something going. Get it. Yeah, Steven getting hit. With old minions, this is not one to work. It's really going down to the wire. Look at that! Both, both players having exactly the same amount of. Oh no! Oh no, Lord! 
Haya nearly fumbled it out, but manages to clutch it versus Usuyaba. I think they played against each other earlier in the bracket today. Did them? Did it? Did them? They? Let me check real quick. Maybe not. I think I'm capping. Let's go cool Hide. Yeah, cool. nah, they didn't play today, actually. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Is Kohide ready for, for Usuyaba? We shall see. I have no idea whether he, they have already played against each other uh, previously. But that being said, look at that. Kohide looking very good right now. Oh, nice cannon drill. Oh, Lord. Yeah, very nice use of the Nasante right there. Definitely covers a lot of uh, Abba's aerial approaches. And man, Kohide taking with the perfect. What a statement. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Ty should have uh, chosen to play Giovanna and not, and not was their name, and not Ty and not uh, Ch Oh, big six P camera hit, right, right uh, during the rhythm of the music. By the way, that was sick. Good stuff from Kohide. Counter. Oh wow. Okay. Let's see how this spins out. And Usiaba getting the jump in. Should be able to get. The juggle and does boom straight into the key in order to get full jealousy bar back. Ah, okay, almost catches the back dash, but gets hit by the wake of the Santa. By the wake, oh wow, that was downside. Good lord. Oh wow, are you serious? What the hell? Good lord, that was crazy stuff from Musuyama. Man, not only the Donzai, but then the 2S to catch the overdrive, aer the aerial overdrive of, of Kohide. That was bonkers, man. That was crazy. Good stuff from uh, from Usuyaba. Definitely a clutch moment. Definitely going in the replays. Again. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go to close-up pressure. Kohide wants to open up. up. Nice checks right there from Usuyaba. Go see how this spins out. Got the... Got the uh, the knockdown. Ah, Lord. Ooh, here we go, dear to air. I hope they. Yeah. Nice. This time around. We see about. Oh, Lord. Ooh. And good Lord. You see about with the freaking bait on the burst as well. That was sick. You see about taking 1 to 0 for. Well, at least the first match, that is. That was pretty crazy, man. That was so crazy. Anyways, here we go with the Nasante, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. Hey, Cookie Ide, making very good use of the Nasante, actually. Catching, yeah, uh, noticing that Usuyaba tends to want to take to the air a little bit too often when they are in jealousy mode. Nice punish of the Donzai, by the way. Good stuff. Yes, uh, Cookie Ide should have Roman cancel. No, not like this. Not like this. Nice side switch right there from Musayaba. We go the wake up Donzai. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think they got hit right there. Yeah, they did. Ah, damn it. That's unfortunate. Good stuff from Kogi though. He kind of deserved it. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, here we go the jump in from Musayaba. Ah, goes for the overhead. Straight into the Donzai. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, and we'll see about... Ooh, finally got the whiff punish right there. Ah. Uh, made it seem like he was going for the... The fuzzy setup, but didn't. Anyway, there we go with... Go with the Usuyaba getting the... Sets and tries to go for the cross-up and goes straight for the overhead follow-up. Usiaba really looking good. Yeah, you can see the, the jabs are... Well, the jabs. Yeah, the small jabs. From Usiaba trying to catch Kohide. Um, what's it called? Dash towards them. Big Donzai counter hit. Not enough to get the juggle though. Nice grab from Kohide. Goes for the cannon drill. Goes for another grab. And Kohide with the Ventania on the verge of getting this kill. 
You see about ah, uh, almost getting the the back dash though. And that being said, Kohide takes the second match quite uh, convincingly. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's see who is going to take this one. Okay, okay, one second. Oh, wow. And Usuyaba with the kill using the OTG. On to the next battle. Okay, here we go with the combo pressure. Well, the corner pressure from Usuyaba unfortunately got whiff punished right there by Kohide. Kohide with the close up pressure. Was for the extension using the wild assault. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Or not, actually. Deciding to uh, conserve his uh, bar. Gets an Asante. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Straight into the Ventania for the kill in the EDS. One match apiece, one round apiece. We have perfect arm in here right now. The perfect tie. Okay, finally, going to forcing Lucio about to pop the burst. Has to deal with, uh, with Lady Jealousy. Ah, nice stuff from Usuyaba, man, going through with the schmixes. Usuyaba getting the wall break. Oh, wow. What he did with the in and outs, man, and definitely making it work. And get the juggle. Not enough for the wall break, though. Ah, blue Roman cancel. What's the schmix? We go for Hide. Using the wall assault to guarantee a safe. Ooh! Hello, motherfucker! Yo, Chronowo, hello, how you doing? And good stuff from Usuyaba, yo! Usuyaba taking the lead 2 to 1, yo! Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Usuyaba with the lead. Koide needs to make something happen. Nice air to air. Oh, air to air right there from Musuyaba. Again with the air to air with the uh, jump in. <sighs> nice swift punish right there from Musuyaba. And it's jealousy time for you, sir. Fully charged, almost fully charged jealousy bar. Big Nasante start though. Uh, Blue Roman cancel combo. Wow, that was sick. I have no idea how he managed to do this. Oh, and the cross-up for the kill, yo! Lucy Abba on match point, yo! Lucy Abba on match point. Let's see if they can make it happen. We shall see. Oh, he did what? Ah, almost got the wall break. Ooh, and it's Donzai time. Maybe not. Nice blocks right there from Musuyaba. Ah, this is looking pretty bleak, though. Okay, nice stuff from Musuyaba. Was able to salvage some of their uh, jealousy meter. Ah, here goes the Donzai. And the big down there a second time gets the juggle because they were in a juggle state. Ah, uh, drop, drops the combo, gets the aerial grab. Are you serious? That was sick. Ah, uh, wait, yeah. Ooh, that was so close. Oh, wait, is that it? I think it might be. Oh, wow. Okay, and here we go. Nice grab right there from Koide. Nine arms to kill. Gets the close S. One more hit. Oh, and the advantage went to Kohide. Kohide staying alive. Staying alive by the skin of his teeth. Holy freaking lord. Here we go. Let's see how this pans out. Nice. Uh, a bar right there from... Oh, Usiaba. Good lord. Good stuff from Usiaba. Can get the wall break? Ooh, lord. 
And the grab though from Usab. I don't think it, it was what Kohide wanted. Oh lord, straight into the overdrive. Usiaba, one more hit is all that is required. Well, what the hell happened? I don't know, but Usiaba managed to clutch it out right at the end. 3, 2, 1. And here we go on to the next battle. Usha. <clears throat> on to the next battle. Even Steven versus Usiaba. Let me see, who sent Abba in the losers, by the way? I'm starting to... I'm really interested to see who. Is, uh, Abba has been playing super good. Hagiara sent Abba in the losers. Okay, my bad. Let's see how this pans out. So wait, this is the uh, losers. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing my mind. This is the losers final. Yeah, and Hagiara is sitting in the winners final. Okay, so whoever wins this one will get a shot at none other than Hagiara in the grand final. So let's see if we see Abba can make this happen or. Steven, we shall see. Here we go, the Tyrant, Ilani! It's tough. Oh, and here we go, the wake up. Usiaba ready still to grab you and the big Donzai for the kill. Good lord, Usiaba taking it, man. Usiaba playing very good today, by the way. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, are you serious? Okay, here we go, Usiaba. With the Donzai. Big, big, big five can you go? Ah. Okay, good hit right there from Usiaba. Using the parry from uh, the parry of Abba in order to build some jealousy gate. Unfortunate. Wow, what the hell was that? <laughs> the side switch is real. Yo. <laughs> good stuff from Steven. Look at the damage though. Good stuff from Steven. Here we go to close up pressure. Steven going low this time around. Should be able to seal the deal. And does. Okie dokie, bread and cookie. Here we go on. Wow, uh, nice stuff from Steven. Tries to whiff punish the uh, the hop. Wow, what the hell is this combo? This is crazy. Okay, here we go with Usiaba. Looking really good. Which like ate a volcanic viper right there. Ah, nice stuff from Musiaba, probably, yep. Good lord. Here we go with the bandit revolver. Again with the gun flame. Nice jump in right there from Musiaba. Ah, feels too good. Ah, he, want he so wanted to do jealousy mode right as soon as he got the knockdown. But I think he got a, um, he got a execution error right there, for sure. That's exactly what he wanted. He wanted to get the... Oh, Lord, straight into the overdrive. Is this gonna kill? It might. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ah, too far from the... Oh, wow, are you serious? This is straight... This is crazy. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, good stuff, but this is bad. Yeah. Good stuff from Musi. But, unfortunately, there's so many, so many times you can block. And Whip Steven takes the first match. Good lord. And here we go the gun flame. Look at see Usiaba. Just biding his time. His time. Just waiting to build some jealousy meter, unfortunately for them. Getting, yeah. Ah, big bandit bringer again. Ooh, big jump in though. From Usiaba. Getting hit by a DP wake up of his own. Man, it's even looking really good right now. Here we go with a close S from Whip Steven. Even Steven. Oh, okay. Steven getting the corner positioning. Definitely wanting that second match win as well. Nice grab from Suyaba. Ooh, that was pretty cheeky. Wake up DP. 
And we'll see how about man. With the wall break. Wow. Ah, uh, you can see you see about oh ah uh, no. But Usiaba still getting it, should be able to seal the deal, and does. Okay, not over till it's over. Okay, who's gonna take it? Usiaba definitely needs this one if they don't want to be afflicted by too much of a gap, too much of a difference between both of their scores. Let's see how this pans out. Nice with punish right there from Usiaba. Anyways, here we go with the match coming in. And with Steven with the close up pressure, definitely wanting this kill. Guess the opening forces are about to pop the burst. Ah, okay, good stuff from Abba. Finally got rid of the burst of even Slaven. That being said, wow, big DP from Steven, yo. Ah, man, and the whip punish is real. One more hit is all that is required for Steven. Wow, wow, wow. Big grab. You want to get out of my pressure? You're not going to get out of my pressure. That is not ah, the standing K. And the bandit bringer for the kill, yo. Whip Steven up to the zero, yo. Good stuff from Whip Steven. Even Steven. Steven does not want to be even right now. He wants to completely obliterate his uh, his opponent. Again, here we go to Forest. Forest pressure again. Then the corner gets hit by the freaking uh, fire chest from Abba. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go the fuzzy, forcing Steven to pop the bird, the, the, ye the yellow Roman cancel. Is the playlist you, is, you are using publicly available? Let me check. <laughs> it's a very good question. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I can put I can put it in. Uh... Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure it is. If it's not, I couldn't be able to use it with my software. I just forgot. So let's see. Yeah, it is. Here you go. If you're interested in it. I'll just put it right here. Here you go. Knock yourself out. <clears throat> it's a very good playlist. <laughs> it's been... Uh, I've been working on it for a hell of a long of time, so... How about... Well, you're welcome, you're welcome. Feel free to use it. Okie dokie, and here we go with... Oh lord, even Steven! Even Steven getting the bait on the burst! What's going on? Steven! Steven! Good lord! Let's see how this spins out. Wow, nice air to her right there. Oh, and still Steven manages to clutch it out right at the end. And final of today's bro drop up, the 106th bro drop up. On the left side, winner side, we have Hagiara, and on the right side, none other than Whip Steven. Who is going to win this one? We shall see. If Steven wins this one, we shall have a bracket reset, in which case we will be blessed by yet again another set that I will be happily be commentating for your own, uh, how do you say it? Die. Divertissement. How do you say divertissement? Anyway? For your own uh, leisure, I, I suppose. Yeah, that, that, that's good enough. Anyways, here we go! Uh, what a what a song for this uh, for this screen set. Let's go, Alina! Anyways, I got a man. I got a looking very, very strong today, not gonna lie. So on to the second round. First round went to I get up. Let's see if Steven can even things, uh, can even the odds out, hopefully. And here we go, ah, the way punishes off, I get our on point, not going to lie. I gotta have been playing pristine today. Yo, Carrot, how you doing? Let's go, Hagiara indeed. Yo, man, Hagiara has been playing so crazy good during this tournament. It is cray cray, man. He hasn't lost a single freaking set 
Currently, Steven is doing his best to try to contain him, but it's just not working out. <laughs> well, that being said, we we'll never, never discount, um, never count Steven out, though. But uh, again, here we go with the burst. Oh wow! Locked the vortex right in time. Very nice tech as well. Gets hit by the two as well. And the volcanic viper. Nice grab, yo. Steven, you were a little bit too close there. That was unfortunately for you. And unfortunately for you, you are going to die. No, not enough. I capped, I capped, my bad. It was gonna be the mix. Hello, Hello indeed, Mika-chan. How you doing? Anyways, here we go. First match goes to Hagiara. Good lord. <laughs> Glad you like it. <laughs> okay, let's see how this spins up. I get out trying to get the 2k 2d right in. I'm enjoying watching. I'm enjoying you watching. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it as well. Thank you very much. Anyways, here we go with uh, Hagera trying to get something going. Oh, goes for the wild assault in order to extend the pressure and force Steven to pop the burst as well. Okay, man, the, look at the mobility of Hagera, man. But that being said, he is in danger zone. A little bit more and he will be afflicted by a negative penalty and you don't want to see that oh big four s counter hit though from c and this oh look one wow two moves and half of the life of hagera gone gone in smithereens let's see here we go the close-up pressure try to go for the uh very nice spacing again the punish with punish on the on the what's called the bandit revolver is actually pretty crazy that being said here we go with the whip steven and the oh too far from the corner to get the follow-up and mix time it is yep you have to eat the schmix not enough to kill though but the tab dust was enough in order to uh finish it off finally steven putting one on the board big for hs counter hit though Look at the damage, man. I get his health has just melted away. That being said, Whip Steven did get hit by the playoff kick, the kickoff kick. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> okay, Steven just content to just block right now. Are we gonna see a vortex? Nope. Don't play him. It is. Yeah. Okay. Finally, I get in. Ah, uh, vortex. Here it came. Okay, very nice delays right there from Steven not to get hit by the uh, by the 6 HS or uh, the 6 P. Again, I'm not afraid of the wake up DP of Steven. Wow. Okay, here we go. I get out. Uh, ooh, gets hit again by the uh, Volcanic Viper. Big gun flame right there. Ooh, and big Fafnir. Ooh, uh, very nice hit on Hagera right there. With the forest uh, counter hit. Nope, we're gonna flame here, sir. Good use of the uh, six HS, uh, the six S to uh, to dispose of the. Uh... Oh, and this almost got the kill, yo! You dropped it. You hate to see it. I'm a C, yeah. Yellow room and cancel, of course. Very nice bag dash and very nice 2D for the whiff punish. Okie dokie, Hagela looking pretty good. If he wins this one, he will be up two to zero. In which case, he'll only need to one win one more match in order to uh, secure the win for the Brodra Cup. Let's see how this spins out. Good stuff from Steven, you know, making good use of the 6S yet again. He killed uh, the minions on, on deck. Here we go to jump in. Ah, but big, big stand HS right there from, I got a big counter hit. Let's see, oh, and the DP, of course. Yeah, and that was an ill-timed uh, standing S though from Whip Steven gets grabbed yet again. Oh no, almost got the grab still, but not enough. Okay, nice, nice block right there, but it's mix-up time. Nobody blocks this mix-up from from Steven. Let me even stay even. Okay, let's see how this can move out. Okay, nice whip punish. Could have gotten the kill though if they Roman Castle, but it's okay. I get yo, up to the zero. Is he gonna 3 0 whip Steven? That would be sick, yo. I got definitely on point today. I don't know what he did. I don't know what, what training regime he uh, abided to. I don't know what he ate for breakfast today, but it is definitely working out very good for him. He's on point on everything with punishes, conversions, like uh, max max damage, like everything, man. Every single one of his, of his decision making has been on point. 
Just as I say this, oh, again with the spacing, yo. And too far to hit Dominion. Ah, nice block on the stab does though. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Oh, and we have the all of she as well. I love this freaking this uh, this theme by the way, this BGM. And here we go with the four S. Good lord, man! How get a with the freaking whiff punishes? Goes for the cross up. Tried to go for the grab, but couldn't quite catch it. <clears throat> Let's see how this turns out. Good blocks, yo, from Whip Steven, yo. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, the Whip Punish, though! And burst it in! Yeah, yeah, I get it, I gotta take it, yeah. Doesn't want to overextend, rightfully so. I mean, Hagira is up to the zero. Might as well not take too many risks. Nice, ah, couldn't block, I couldn't, couldn't uh, punish this. Big jump in, though. Whip, whip Steven forced to pop the burst. Forcing Hagira to pop the burst as well. Nice! Uh, nice guard point though from Hagera. And the whip punish, man. <laughs> whip Steven has been on point with the whip, whip punish. Crazy. Ooh, but this is a big starter, yo. Ah, look at the damage. Where's my life? I know, right? It's crazy. Super patient. Really, uh, really betting on the whip punish as well. That was an unfortunately timed, uh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, still in the lead, 2-1. to one. But yeah, both really waiting for the whiff punish possibilities. Not really overextending. If they see that like their current pressure is not really working, they just back off and everything. It's like, they really don't want to overextend. Well, Steven being a little bit more uh, aggressive though, as uh, always, but I mean, he's playing LOL. He's playing Sol. He's playing LOL. He's playing Sol and, and Steve, Steven by nature is a very aggressive player. So yeah. But he is playing way more, um, way more slower than what he usually does against other players. But that being said, look at the damage that Hagela just ate. 75% of their life just evaporated. It's crazy. Anyways, Steven definitely looking pretty good right now. Are we going to see a bracket reset? Big 4S counter hit, yo. And already half of the life of Jacko is gone out of the window. Don't get open. Ooh, those shows. And it's mix time. Ooh. And finally, Hagera biting back a bit. Fighting back a bit. Oh! 6 HS counter hit and gun flame for the kill. Good lord, Whip Steven. Are we going to see a bracket reset? It certainly seems like it. Okay, let's see how this pans out. With a 2k. Okay, I gotta force pop the burst. Okay, Brad's and Cookie. Here we go to close up pressure. Steven again with the 6HS, man. It's been working for him very good. <clears throat> the just defense is real, sir. It is real. Steven definitely shifting the tides right now. Making good use of the 2S to. Try to outreach to uh, yeah, to outreach uh, Jacko and with Punisher whenever possible. Very nice air grab though from Hagera. We go to close up pressure. Wow, this is gonna be death. Yeah, illusion. No, it's not death by the way. I capped. Oh, it is death. Okay, I'm sorry. I double capped. No, it's not death. I triple capped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not like this, Hagera. Not like this, yo. Yeah, yeah, I would have burst it. Ooh, okay, here we go. Okay, we are on set point. Let's see if this is going to be the end. <laughs> the very rare triple cap. <laughs> it, w it was all according to Keikaku. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the, uh, the corner pressure. Okay, and Hagira really trying to pin freaking uh, Whip Steven on the ground. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, the close, the forest, man. The forest, the bane of everyone in this game. Okay, here we go, Whip Steven. Ah, definitely taking some hits right now. A little bit down on the resource department. 
It's not anything that a 4S can... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, just what I was gonna say. Ah, that being said, not over till it's over. Big Vortex, very nice block. No, that was a horribly timed reflection. I'm not gonna lie, I get a... Not gonna lie, but nah, it is what it is. Okay, one more chance going down to the last round of the last match. Are we gonna see a bracket reset or is Hagera gonna take it? We shall see. Big 4 HS though. Let's see how this pans out. Just defend. Big DP though. Ooh, and the Fafnir. And again the Fafnir. Ah, man, you got hit by the forest. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, oh, look at the damage. Haha, <laughs> guilty gear, eh? Ah, oh, guilty gear. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, big reflex shield. Hagera, is he gonna make the comeback? I really doubt it, but if Hagera makes the comeback, like, nah, it's over. Yeah. Okay, well, it is a bracket reset, ladies and gents. Okay, we're in. Yes, finally. Sorry for the wait, guys. This is the grand final, the reset. Hagera versus Whip Steven. Even Steven, let's see who is going to take it. Let me stand for this one because... I might fall asleep if I don't, and it's not because the match is boring, not at all, it's because I am extremely freaking tired, so let me stand up. Okay, dokie, breads and cookie, let's see how this pans out. Okay, very nice use of the RC right there from Hagela, at least he got a trait and not a full-blown anti-air. But Whipsiven is definitely the one who is making the most out of it, look at the damage. But that being said, Whipsiven is out of uh, resources. He is slowly building tension right now and does have one bar of burst though. And big boards and dicks. This should be it. Wow. He, oh, almost got the side switch though and goes for the wild uh, throw for the kill. Very nicely done by Steven. Gets the first round. Very nicely done. So just uh, for newcomers right now, Steven is currently, well, uh, he managed to reset the bracket, so he just needs to win one more set in order to become the Brojo Cup champion, the number 106th uh, Brojo Cup champion, because yes, this is the 106th Brojo Cup. Currently, we have passed the 100th mark. It is pretty crazy. I wouldn't have dreamed of doing as many Brojo Cup as I did already. And that's only counting the, um, the Guilty Gear Strive version of, of the Brojo Cup, not the other ones. Anyways, here we go. Ooh! Here we go, Hagera force pop the burst. A big 6p from Hagera gets the juggle as well. Very nice, though. Gets the grab and the side switch also. And wow, where? What the hell? What the hell was that? How did it hit him? He was clearly in the other side and still managed to get the hit on the DP. That's so strange. Anyways, good stuff from Whip Steven. Gets the lead. 1 to 0 currently. That must definitely affect a little bit uh, Hagera, who was sitting comfortably on the winner's side. Of the bracket still gets hit by the wake up DP of Whip Steven. See how this pans out. Ah, good lord. And Whip Steven with the close up pressure unfortunately gets grabbed. Here we go, the close up pressure again. I get us straight into the Illusion Driver for some more damage. Driver! Good stuff from Whip Steven. And good lord, Whip Steven with the combo is gonna get the wall break. Oh, gets the bandit revolver with the 2s counter hit and should be able. No, drop the combo. You hate to see it. Big counter hit and Hagira makes the best out of it. Gonna get the illusion driver for the kill right there. Driver. Good stuff from Hagera. On to the next battle. Yeah, Hagera going really, really, really slow. Does not want to overextend. And being said, Steven is bringing in the heat. Gonna get the wall break with the Tyrant Rave. For the, uh, for the, how do you call it? For the guaranteed knockdown. Big 2k 2d right there from Whip Steven. Should be able to get the wall break or the kill actually. Wouldn't surprise me. Not enough to kill though. Just shy of a bit of uh, of damage, unfortunately for Whip Steven. And here we go with the DP for Steven, getting the kill. Here we go the grab. Steven looking very good right now. Okay, I get a really 
having some trouble trying to get his game started, trying to make the momentum shift. Very big 6P right there. That was a very, very nice 6P from Hagara. Very hard to uh, to do as well since uh, since Salt does it, it changes uh, direction while doing it, while doing the Bandit Bringer. And here we go with the RC extension. I guess I should be able to get the hard knockdown using the uh, Elysian Driver. And I get a really working his ass off trying to get the kill. One more hit for Hagara should be enough. That being said, ah, here we go with the pickup, and Hagara manages to even things out one to one. I'm telling you guys, it's going down to the wire. I wouldn't have seen it any other way. It's going down to the last round of the last match. I'm calling it out right now. <laughs> so I'm basically not be gonna be able to sleep at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really looking forward to it. <clears throat> Otaku, you done it! <laughs> Good stuff from Whip Steven. Really has a pretty nice uh, health lead. Sitting comfortably right now. Good stuff from Whip Steven gets the air to rare kill. Big for S counter hit though. Okay, and Hagiara trying to get in the corner. Ooh, Lord. That's not looking pretty good. Not looking pretty good. Okay, good stuff from Whip Steven with the Bandit Bringer and the Fafnir. Ah, big Bandit Revolver again. And Whip Steven looking unstoppable right now. Two to one, taking the lead. They're both exchanged lead, leads, actually, but currently, like, Steven really looks pretty good right now, I'm gonna lie. Let's see if uh, Hagara can bring it back, we shall see. Yeah, one second, guys. Good stuff, yo. Hayera with the perfect. Definitely not going down without a fight. Are we going to see? Yeah, it's going down to the wire. I'm calling it out. I'm calling it out. I am definitely calling it out. And here we go with Hayera into the Illusion Driver. Good lord! How is this going to end? Even Steven? Ooh, catching the Vortex out and here we go two to two! I'm calling it out! It's going to the last run of the last match, absolutely! <clears throat> it's definitely going down to the wire. And here we go, Whip Steven forcing Ayala to Bob the Burst and vice versa as well. Okay, so. Ah, uh, nice block right there from Steven. Definitely not going to fall for this. And Steven with the Gravio. Steven with the Gravio. Ah, uh, Steven taking the lead. Got the round lead, so how is it going to finish? Oh. 
Okay. He's going down to the wire. I'm calling. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I got something up real quick. Here we go with the counter hit. Good lord. So let's see. Ah, hi, get I gotta bring it back. I called it. I called it out. I called it. I called it. No, 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 no. Don't. No. Don't make me cap. I refuse. I get No, oh, Lord. That was so close. I get up. Bring it back. I get up. And the grab. Oh, this is looking pretty bad. Oh, we're going to bend the bring it. Okay, here we go. We're going down to the last round of the last match. I called it out. I called it out. I told you guys. I knew it. Ah, oh, good Lord. Okay, here we go. This is the last round of the last match after a bracket reset, which was also last round of the last match, by the way. These guys do not want to let me go sleep. And here we go with the grab. Hagiara in the corner positioning. Looking pretty good, but with Steven biting back. Okay, very nice Abari from Hagiara. Definitely wants that burst. Forces Steven to pop it. Steven trying to find his way in. Good lord. Oh, wow. Ooh, and Hagiara, man. Got the pick up. One more hit. Oh, and the Abari. That a bar was so good. Oh, that was a badly timed wild throw. And just like this, I get.